does this mean for people in our area and really for people across the country? Right. Well, the government's getting out of the car business, and so they're selling a couple hundred million shares. They're still going to hold 300 million shares that ultimately will be diluted away from the government over the next 15 months, uh, selling it back through various means. Um, and obviously what we hope for here in our area is that General Motors is taking that money and reinvesting in plants, possibly some new lines. Um, not quite sure ultimately what they'll do with the money. They're going to have it back, but we're not sure if they're going to spend it on our area or not. So, um, But the company's very stable right now. It's very liquid. Uh, they've got uh, quite a few billion dollars in, in cash reserves. And so just having the company stable, knowing that it appears jobs are secure, um, is a positive thing moving forward. Now, does this kind of mean that the bailout worked? Uh, obviously, GM <laughs> got the funds back to be able to buy back this, this stake in the company. Yeah. I mean, what's it mean? Yeah, so the government, uh, under originally George Bush, uh, started putting money in and uh, continued and expanded by President Obama, um, which ultimately stabilizes the company, uh, took them away from uh, really a, potentially a, situa a potential situation where they would collapse. And uh, so now we've got a stable company. Uh, they added over this time frame, the last couple of years, a couple thousand jobs in North America. And what we're hoping for is jobs coming back to the United States and then expanding out from there. Sure, to really make this tangible, because we're talking finances in the morning, so we want to give people, <laughs> you know, wake up. Um, but right. <coughs> for them to be able to grasp this and make this a tangible mm. thing, this could mean, mm. you know, you said jobs. I what mean, we, we don't want to put that out there, but what could it possibly mean? Right, we want, that's what we want. Right. We want a stimulation. Stimulation is dollars coming in, jobs to do the refitting, retooling, adding uh, lines, adding possibly a building. Any of those things would be a positive effect in the community, right? Just seeing something built would be a positive thing in our community. So um, that's what we really want, General, you know, how can we attract General Motors back? Now that they've got the money, how do we get that money back into our community? Um, but at the very least, uh, the stabilization and knowing that the jobs are secure, that General Motors is not going to go away. I mean, that, that represents a million jobs worldwide. So. Uh, that's really what the whole plan was. It cost the taxpayers a lot of money to do that. I hope they realize that because, uh, you know, they're selling the shares back pretty cheap. So. Sure. <laughs> All right. And one quick last question. Yeah. Does this mean that, in your eyes, the financial climate is kind of t taking a turn overall? Uh, we see a little bit of that. We a see little. the housing market creeping back. We see, uh, you know, uh, again, we we talked earlier about the fiscal cliff. That could derail a few things. Uh, however, you know, the car companies seem to be quite stable in North sure. America right now, and that's a huge employer in the United States. Definitely so a good we sign. really look forward to seeing that continue to expand. All right, Rick Barnett, thanks so much for joining us.